Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Rashida and I'm a stay at home work from home mom of four beautiful children. We have Giselle, Malika, Nasir, and Naomi. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is... <coughs> Excuse me. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your, your notifications are on so you will not miss an upload. All right. So I'm choking to death because... <laughs> I went to Tropical Smoothie Cafe and I got the acai bowl. First of all, I've been trying to say this. I've been saying it wrong on on so many videos and nobody corrected me. Acai, I think I was called it Aki because I was getting confused with the ahi tuna and I was calling it Aki. But it's acai bowl. Shame on y'all for nobody correcting me. And um, I'm trying it for the first time with the peanut butter. I think I actually like it with the peanut butter better than the honey, even though it's both on there right now. This is probably going to be my last time buying it from here because their prices went up. This cost me, well, I did give it a dollar tip. So this was like $13. I just feel like it's not worth it. So this is what it looked like. And I feel like it's pre-made because it's all this ice on, on the bottom of it. Anyways, so it has strawberry, blueberries, um, granola, the acai, bananas, um flaxseed oh excuse me not chia seeds and coconut shave shavings with honey and peanut butter so again that's what it's look like i just had to run and grab me something for breakfast because i know that today is going to be pretty busy for today we are going to be doing some all day laundry motivation because i have so many new clothes that i've been racking up for the kids for summertime now keep in mind i'm still in a winter coat shocking right for it to be spring i'm still in a winter coat here in michigan is i just don't like the weather here never have never will i don't like the weather here because here we are what in april and i'm still in a full when not a jacket a full winter coat but i'm tired of this these all these bags just accumulating and i need to go ahead and get them washed and repacked up honestly into the weather actually officially turns but i want to get them washed and put up because they just taken over like it's so many clothes but right now i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna run in here to target because i ran out of my laundry sanitizer and i'm not gonna take you in with me because that's the only thing i'm getting even though you say you're getting one thing from target and then you end up with like 200 dollar bill but i promise you I'm only going in here to get um, my laundry sanitizer that I use. And then I will see you guys back at the house so we can get started. Okay, so here's all the new clothes that we've been buying over the last few weeks. Most of this is summer clothes. It is a couple of like random pieces in here, but this is literally everything that we've been shopping for. I already took all the tags off. Everything, all the tags and hangers is fills up this whole bag. That's how much clothes it is. It kind of comes across like it's not a lot, but I swear, y'all, this is a lot of clothes. <laughs> so this is summer clothes for all four kids, mostly Nay, because Nay has outgrown everything from last year. Of course, she's only two, about to turn three. So we definitely had to get her a brand new wardrobe for the summertime. And then uh, the boys have a couple of things because there's still some stuff that they fit. I really just need to see, we'll see as the summer goes along, like what they really need. But I got mostly like graphic tees and shorts for them. Giselle got a whole bunch of dresses and some shorts. And like I said, for the most part, this is like all nays. Um, so right now I'm just need to 
sort this out. Because these are brand new clothes, I need to be careful how I'm sorting them because I don't want anything to bleed onto each other. So I need to definitely be careful. I think I'm going to do like whites and like real like pastel light colors. I'll do a like colorful one and then I'll do a darker pile and we'll just see how it works. I might have to do four different color piles. I don't know because I really don't want none of this stuff to be and as you can see it's multi colored and yeah I just want to make sure they don't bleed because there's some really cute stuff in here when I get done with everything I'm gonna show you like some of my favorite pieces that we purchased so um definitely stay tuned but for now let's go ahead and get this sorted Let's rock, let's rock. Can you ride with me? Oh, baby, let's stop with me. Can you take it to the top of me? I just wanna love you, baby. Always thinking love you, baby. Can you roll with me? Oh, baby, hold over me. Can you take control of me? I just wanna love you, baby. Always thinking love you, baby. Can you roll with me? Oh, baby, hold over me. Can you take control of me? I just wanna love you, baby. Always thinking love you, baby. together so you have like the dark pal the whites and lights pal like this then you have like the mixed colors over here and then i just have her random coat that i'm gonna wash separately with the other kids um coat stuff but this is a coat that we got that was on clearance and um it's gonna be for next year it's kind of too big for her now but it was just super cute and why not just go ahead and get her a coat for next year so that'll be one thing off of my to-do list but it's so cute it's Minnie Mouse it has the bow on the hood and the little ears on the hood as well so she already saw it she loves it she wants to wear it now but of course it's drowning her so that is going to be put up for next year but now that I know how many loads we got let's go ahead and start I think I'm gonna start with I mean, it doesn't matter which one I start with. Let's just go with the lights. So now that we got the new clothes started, y'all already know we backed up on regular clothes. So I got about, I got one, two, and then a pile on the floor. So we got three piles of, I don't even know if you, if these are three piles, just three buckets, three baskets of clothes that we need to uh, fold and put up. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so today's movie is army of the dead it came out in 2021 it's two hours and 28 minutes i don't think i'll be continuing this movie after i finish this because it's just i don't know it just looks a little cheesy i mean it is from jack snyder so i don't know we'll see if i 
develop an interest in it. But it's supposed to be for, it says, after a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, a group of mercenaries take the ultimate gamble by venturing into the quarantine zone for the greatest heist ever. I don't know, it just looks a little cheesy, but again, I just need a distraction from doing all this laundry, so we're going to play, play this up. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. You ain't special till I made you so.
process of going to get something um to eat yeah we snuck at the house because you ever like be so busy in your work and everything that you're doing it doesn't matter if it's like corporate work or like household work or just time goes by so fast and then you look up and you haven't ate like i was starting to feel sick like i'm that hungry that i'm starting to feel like nauseous and it probably don't make six sense logically but instead of fixing something to eat because i didn't want to fix something to eat i just rather just go grab something really quick even though it probably the time probably would have been shorter for me to just fix it in the house than getting in the car driving there getting it and eating it but you know what in my head it makes sense and that's all that matters so we're about to run to mcdonald's because that's like like the closest thing to me because i need to eat because i am so Okay, so I got a fish, filet meal, no cheese, large fry, and a large sweet tea. The last time I ate McDonald's, y'all, I think it was in Maryland because I remember vlogging it. They're Maryland for vloggers. So in December, in the beginning of December, that's when I, um, the last time I had McDonald's. So McDonald's is like really in case of emergency. Even though technically it's not an emergency, it felt like it was an emergency because I haven't ate. So I'm about to eat this real quick in the car because I can't wait till I get back. So I'm about to eat this and um, then we'll head back in the house and continue with the laundry because I'm pretty sure it's going to be time for me to switch over. I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something change on me And you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know then I won't be for real I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on The more I see you the more Zombie, what is it? Zombie of the Dead? 
zombie. I don't know. It just seems like zombie movies is more like comedy. And so far, like, it's not, it's not comedy. So I don't know why I was expecting that maybe because just in the past, any time that I would see um, any kind of like zombie type of movie, it has some humor in it. But this one, so far, 26 minutes in, it's kind of sad. Let me know in the comments if you have seen this movie, but this movie is kind of sad. It's like people, like when it first happened, um, sorry if I'm spoiling it, if anybody decided to watch it because I'm um, saying something, but it's like when it first happened, people like losing their loved ones and they had to make the choice to kill them. Like it's real powerful. But then again, it's like, I kind of should have expected this a little bit because in the beginning of the movie, it said that it was directed by Zack Snyder. I hope I'm not um, mixing that, uh, messing that name up. But all his movies are pretty good. So I don't, I should have just put two and two together, honestly. But um, yeah, so the movie's pretty good. I don't know for sure if I'm going to finish it after I'm finished, finish the laundry. I don't know if I will continue. Because even though I like horror movies and thriller movies, this, I don't really necessarily, like, this genre zombie thing is not, like, one of my favorites. So, I don't know. But if you're into that kind of thing, this movie is, I give it a 7. A 7 out of 10, given that this is um, not my cup of tea. I'm going to continue watching it. We're going to put this stuff up and then continue on throughout the day.
have new clothes. I want to show you what I got from Forever 21. Now, how this happened is, because I haven't shopped in Forever 21 in forever. So, the way this happened is, I went on TikTok. And <clears throat> it's this girl, I don't know who she was because I wasn't following her. But basically, she said that the her Forever 21 was closing. And they was like up to 90% off the, like the whole store. So I was like, wait a minute, it's our closing. So I Googled which stores are closing because it's not all of them. Um, certain ones closed. I think it was like 120 stores. I don't know why that number is popping in my head, but I think it's 120 stores that are closing. So I Googled mine and mine was on the list. So I was like, oh, let me go see what they have. If there's anything worth getting 90% off, I'm going to go check it out because you can get literally stuff for under a dollar. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go. So <clears throat> I got there. It wasn't 90% off, but they had 70% 70, 70 off like red tag clearance, basically. So basically anything, and they had sections of clearance stuff. So anything that was on clearance, you can take an extra 70% off of the clearance price. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me just see what they have. Oh my God, they had so much stuff. Forever 21 has come a long way since I remember shopping there, which was like a long time ago. Now keep in mind, they still are geared towards, I feel like, like younger people because they still don't have like half whole shirts. They still favor crop tops and very revealing clothing. But I think I found some gems and I want to show you. By the time you see this video, sorry. Um, I think it's gonna be over with, but long story short, my my um my store isn't closing. They just said that they just have a, a warehouse sale, if you will. But part of me, my soul, feel like they just can't tell me that they're closing and when the 90% sale won't be. So I don't know, I might have to check back like in a few days to see if they changed it up. But anyways, I picked up some dresses. I think I got a pair of shorts too, but I picked up some dresses, some dressy and some every day. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I get. So this is the first one, pretty blue, like a dark teal color, um, crosses in the back. It has the cow neck and this one, has a little split now I just thought this was so cute I already tried on all of this stuff because you know clearance is final sale but it is super cute super cute one this originally I don't know how much it was originally but it was on clearance for five dollars so 70 percent off of five dollars okay I'm talking about I'm getting dresses for a dollar three dollars five dollars the sale was like that I might have to make a post and just put it on YouTube so y'all can go grab some gems. But I definitely grabbed a whole, not a whole bunch, a few things. I think my bill only came up to like $20 for these dresses. Like if I could, I would live in dresses if I could. Like I don't like clothing, so the less clothes for me, the better. So I just got a whole bunch of dresses. Here is another dress. I thought this was a little bit more formal-ish. But it was still cute. I tried it on. It's a little short, but it don't show nothing. And I just thought this was cute. So it's like a zebra print, zips in the back. I can see me wearing this out to like dinner. Um, yeah. Then uh, I just got some shorts. These were $9 on clearance. Just plain shorts, black shorts. I don't think I have. I might have black shorts, but I don't think they're like solid. They might be like an ashy black gray. This dress was, I think the tag fell off of this dress. So I can't tell you how much that one was. Next up is this blue one. Some of these dresses are going to be hard to explain when they're not on because they like wrap around. So, uh -oh. okay, so. This is this one. I thought this was so cute. It's not denim. I know it looks like denim. I don't know how it's coming up on camera, but it's not denim. So it's a dress and this part wraps around your back and this part wraps around your neck. 
and it has like little cutouts right here. It's not super revealing. And I feel like this could be an everyday dress. You can dress this up, you can dress this down. But like I said, I just wanted something I can just basically wear anywhere. Like I think I can do brunch with this one. Um, just running errands in this one. So that was that one. Okay, the tag is off this one too. Obviously when I was trying them on, I did not care. Oh, it's a tag in here, so it's this one. Okay, so the black one was $17 on clearance. So 70% off of the black one. Um, then we got this one. So all of them were kind of like flowy dresses just so I can be comfortable throughout the day. They're so wrinkled. But anyway, so it's similar to the blue one. This is like a dark aqua color, but you can wear it like this, but I think it's supposed to be like crisscrossed and around. So again, a little peekaboo and the back is out. So that's cute. Another everyday dress. Um, this one, again, very similar. It's the skirt part right here. And then this has straps. <laughs> I'm trying with my best to show you the vision of the dress. This has straps. It zips up in the back. And then here is the skirt. Again, little cutouts. It's not super revealing when it's on. So that's what I like. Again, nice everyday dress. Or it could be a dress up dress. Not like a night dress up, but um, a dressy up like a lunch date or something like that. This one was $15 on clearance. And then this is the last one that I got. This one now, this is not an everyday dress. This one was $12. This one is more fancy, but I mean, you probably could wear it a night out, but I don't know. I just saw like wedding season. I don't know, but it's super cute. It is a white dress with black flowers. And then the black flowers have like a pinkish highlight, if you will. It crosses in the back. Um, it's not super low in the back, so you don't have to worry about it showing anything, but and then it has a cow's neck as well. So, and this one is form fitting and it has a slit to it as well. So I think I want to go back, honestly, because I just randomly went there. And when I dropped the kids off of school, I randomly went there. And once they told me that it wasn't 90% off, I was just like, uh, let me just see what they have. And then I started finding some good stuff, but I really didn't take my time and like go through things. But all of this for $20? I'm definitely gonna go back and see if I can find a few more dresses because when I say this summer, I am going to be living, living in dresses. So I wanna get a couple of more like basic everyday dresses, like some midi or maxis, really maxis because I am loving the flowy, flowy look lately. So that's what I got for Forever 21. Like I said, I paid twenty dollars. I think the most the most expensive thing was five dollars and ten cent, and then the cheapest thing, one of those dresses, was a dollar and fifty. So definitely check and see if your Forever Twenty One is going like closing because this is a steal. All right, so the first load is done, wash, dry. I'm gonna fold. It by low as it's coming out the dryer. I want to fold it and um, I'm gonna put aside. I'm gonna put aside what I want to show you, and then we'll do like a little haul at the end. But I definitely want to get these folded because I don't want them wrinkled. Because I have to basically like pack them back up, if you will, because the wind, the the weather here is just. It's crazy. Like the weather is just too crazy. Um, it's still cold, um, cold enough to snow. So that's unfortunate, but this is my last year here. So not worried about it <laughs> and not worried about it at all. So we're just going to make do with what we have. 
I'm gonna pack this stuff back up, but at least when the weather starts breaking, I can um, just pull it out. I don't have to worry about washing everything again. I can just pull it out and put it in their closet. So <sighs> let's go ahead and get this stuff up really quick. <laughs> show you as I'm folding and putting it up because I feel like yeah I think that's a better idea and hopefully you can see like the details of what I'm talking about so this is a cute shirt it just has a popsicle I'll move along fast over the ones that I just feel like are kind of like basic but like I said the, the winner here is Nay in her clothes because she outgrew everything from last year um like I said these are new but it's a couple of things that I picked up for um, right now. But most of it is for summer. Um, here's a cute dress. It is a kitty cat. It has a bow and a tutu attached. So um, this one I really wanted to show y'all. This is so pretty. Where's she going to wear? I don't know. But she likes these type of dresses. She'll wear them around the house. I don't know. But we're going to plan something to wear. She has to wear this. It's so cute. So the straps are like, has a flower, lacy thing. And it's almost like a flower girl dress. I don't know. This dress is so freaking cute. So cute. Um, This one, a basic one for Giselle. Um, What is it called? Asymmetrical. Like it's short in the front and then long in the back. So that one's Giselle's. Here's another one that is just so freaking cute for me. So it's a halter. Um, it does button all the way up. The back is out and it's the jean halter and um, was it the skirt that's attached? And it has this belt that kind of fell off in the wash. I should have took it off, but I forgot. Um, the go with it. So. This would make cute. She has some cowboy boots too, but we don't have no cowboy boots. And I'm not going to buy no cowboy boots just, just so she can uh, put it on with that outfit. Then we got Hello Kitty dress. And this is also so cute. So it's a, a denim skirt with um, flowers on them, but it's, it has the shots. So it has the, what is it? Overalls. So that's cute. Um, what else do I want to show? This is not coming out. <laughs> um, anyways, so 4th of July shirt for Nay, Minnie Mouse. Um, just got some more jeans for Giselle. She is outgrowing. She's growing taller. I don't know what I'm saying. Shorts. For the boys, like I said, the boys just got a lot of, um, like, graphic tees, like this. Because I feel like boys mess up a lot of stuff. They mess up a lot of their clothes, so. And then they don't really care what they put on. And they just want to be comfortable, so. Here's just some t-shirts. Let me just see if I can find what I want to show you. Oh, this is really cute. This shirt, and it has the bunny ears attached to it. Um, oh, this is really cute too. It's a little cardigan and it has lace detail. This would be cute with like uh, some of her dresses. What's this one? Another dress for her. That's all she gonna be in is dresses too. So just a flowery dress. She actually picked this one out when we went to the store. I personally wouldn't have done it because it's a little old-fashioned to me but it's still cute and if she wants it and she wants to wear it then that's what we'll do for her um I think that's it everything else is like t-shirts um here's another dress this is 
Giselle's dress. Super cute. This one is mine's. This one came from Target. It's just a, like a, I don't want to call it silk. It's not really silk. Satin, long, plain gown for me. Um, yeah, I think that's it. T-shirt for the boys. Um, I think I can get everything folded now. Cause I think that's all the cute stuff from this, from this load that I wanted to show you. Of course, there's gonna be stuff in the other loads, but maybe I'll compile them and then do it individually. Cause I don't know how well this worked out. moment I spoke your name from then on I knew that by you being in my life all right you guys can see that it's getting dark now but the next load is out I didn't pick through it real quick um just so I can show you before it gets too dark just a couple of cute pieces so this is one of the boys graphic shirt uh Malachi. Yeah, Malachi's um always hangry. This one is so cute. Look, the back is out and it has a little bow. Um I don't know how low this back goes. We might have to save that for a little later. Um another one with the back out, but it's crisscross. And it's like an orange, I guess it's like flowers and leaves that's what i'm seeing but i guess it's abstract but this is a nice bright summer color then malachi he loves these books so i'm so glad that i had found like the shirt um captain underpants so found that this is one of giselle's dresses i thought it was cute i would actually wear something like this i probably do have something like this but this is from target here is another this is actually um, shorts. Yeah, so this one is shorts, but it's again asymmetrical. So it's just the shorts, and then it has the little, I don't know what you call this, tail train. And then the straps are like roped. So that's Giselle's. Here is another one that I just thought was just super simple and super cute for Nay. We did a lot of bright colors um, shopping this year, which I'm extremely happy with because. I know it just makes me happy. So this is Nays. This is another one for Giselle. It's more on the fancier side, but. And then this one is a romper for Nay. And it has the ruffles and the um, big straps. So super cute. Now I'm going to get this one folded. Um, I don't know if you see back here, but I kind of started folding it and separating it by kid. So I know where to pack it up at. I think I'm just going to pack it up in bags and like store it under their beds until the time comes because they already don't have room in their closets right now because all their winter clothes is still in there. So. I think I'm just gonna put it under their beds because they have space under the beds. They have buckets, but the buckets are, the buckets have summer clothes in it as well that has already been washed. Um, again, when the time comes, I'll go through it and see what needs to be donated, but that's not today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this load. And depending on how much time is left on the dryer is if I'll get to the third load tonight because I still gotta, you know, do mommy duties 
get the kids together, dinner, baths, bed. So, um, yeah, we'll see what time the dryer stops. she picked out um here is another dress with nay flowers it has a little zipper here this would be perfect for springtime because it still has the sleeves on it oh yeah it's a dress i thought it was shorts for some reason here's a little cute um shirt and it says it's all about me 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 and if you know her personality then you know that is true and then here is another one i just thought this was so cute the detailing so this is what the back looks like. So it's kind of like a halter-ish and it has um, safari animals. I thought this was like very modern and cute. Here's a t-shirt for the boys. I thought this was funny. So we got that. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you before we fold the rest of the clothes is this dress here uh, for Giselle. It has a cutout here where the stomach is. I'm gonna have to see where that cutout is on her because like why are we putting cutouts in kids clothing i i don't know if how i feel about that but this is a dress that she picked out and we're gonna see if it's appropriate enough but it has um feathers and it's black white and like a peach pink color so now that i showed you that let me go ahead and get the rest of the clothes folded
Okay, so everything is done now. This whole chair is nice. That's why I said that she was the winner um, because she just needed all new summer clothes because everything from last year did not fit versus the other two kids who still had some summer clothes left over from last year. Not a lot, especially not Giselle because she's just grown like a weed. She is so tall. I think we're almost the same size now. We already are like a half inch same size shoe size within the same shoe size so i don't know what's going on there she might be taller than me i don't know we'll see but that's her how and then here are the boys combined the boys are still fitting their clothes well we're going to see when we unpack them but for the most part they still have a lot of summer clothes they have a lot of graphic um t-shirts already and then they have a lot of basketball shorts so i just picked up a few more items for them like some more graphic tees and some um non-basketball shorts i don't know i don't know what you call them but <laughs> for the most part they just stick to their basketball shorts and t-shirts when we go somewhere nicer then they can like do a more casual look if you will <laughs> and dress up the shorts but for the most part they they were good so i think the only thing that's left for us to do for the summer is to buy sandals for the girls um other than that that is it well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one but now i know you're all i need oh.